savvy. Hey, it's your girl Kiki, back with one of the craziest walks, I mean hikes, of your lifetime. Peep this, you're clinging to a sheer cliff face, thousands of feet above the ground. Your heart is racing, your palms are sweating, every muscle in your body is tense and you can feel the adrenaline coursing through your veins. The wind whips around you, howling like a wild beast, making it even harder to keep your balance. Sounds terrifying, right? Wrong. It's exhilarating. The rush of adrenaline, the sense of accomplishment, it's all part of the thrill. This is the Huashan Plank Walk in a nutshell. Not for the faint of heart, but definitely for the thrill seeker in all of us. It's a narrow path just a few planks wide, bolted to the side of a mountain. China is full of hidden and not so hidden gems, and the Huashan Plank Walk is a crown jewel for all you adventure junkies. The views are breathtaking, and the experience is unforgettable. So are you ready to take the leap? To step out of your comfort zone and embrace the unknown? Then buckle up, baby doll, because Mama's about to embark on a journey to conquer the Huashan Plank Walk. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Okay, my travel crew, let's get you oriented. We're headed to Mount Hua, or Huashan as the locals call it, one of China's five great mountains. This majestic peak is renowned for its breathtaking scenery and challenging trails. It's about a hop, skip, and a jump, with a two-hour train ride from Xi'an, a city steeped in history and culture. Think terracotta warriors, ancient city walls, the works. Xi'an is a treasure trove of historical wonders. But enough about history, we're here for an adrenaline rush. Huashan promises an adventure like no other. Getting to Huashan is pretty straightforward. The journey is part of the adventure. From Xi'an, you can catch a high-speed train to Huashan North Station. The trains are modern and comfortable. From there, it's a short taxi or bus ride to the base of the mountain. The views along the way are spectacular. Now you've got options to reach the plank walk. Each route offers its own unique experience. There's the cable car, which offers stunning views and a little less legwork. It's perfect for those who want to take in the scenery without the strain. Or if you're feeling extra adventurous, you can hike up. The trails are challenging, but rewarding. Just be prepared for a serious workout. The climb is tough, but the sense of accomplishment is worth every step. It's also a 700-year-old trail, rumored to take 100 deaths per year. Now let's talk timing. You don't want to be caught on a mountain in a torrential downpour, do you? No thank you. The best time to tackle the Huashan Plank Walk is during the spring, April, May, or fall, September, October. The weather is pleasant, not too hot, not too cold. Plus, the crowds are a little thinner than the busy summer months. Avoid going during the rainy season, July, August, unless you fancy a slippery, potentially dangerous climb. The walk may even be closed off. And trust me, this walk is challenging enough without adding dodging lightning bolts to the mix. So, let's talk about the cost of this adrenaline pumping adventure. It's important to know what you're getting into financially before you embark on this thrilling journey. Brace yourselves. It's not exactly a budget-friendly outing. The prices might surprise you, but the experience is worth every penny. And I need to tell you that. You can't take the walk solo. Groups of two or more only. No cameras are allowed, phones only. And they even check your weight. They are so totally strict on all of this. So prepare. But hey, unforgettable experiences rarely are, right? The memories you create and the stories you'll tell are priceless. Entrance to Hashan itself will set you back around 180 RMB, which is about $25. But wait, there's more. This is just the beginning of your expenses. You'll need to factor in the cost of the cable car, which is around 150 RMB or $21 for a round trip. The cable car ride offers stunning views, making it a worthwhile addition. And of course, safety first. Ensuring your safety is paramount when you're on such an adventure. You'll need to rent a safety harness and leash, which costs around 30 to 50 RMB. That's about four to seven dollars. This gear is essential for your safety and peace of mind. It might seem pricey to some, but trust me, when you're clinging to the side of a mountain, you'll be glad you splurged on safety. The investment in your safety gear ensures you can fully enjoy the adventure without any worries. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, the risks. Yes, the Huashan Plank Walk is dangerous. We're talking sheer drops, narrow walkways, and nothing but a chain to hold onto. But hey, that's part of the thrill, right? 
This is not a walk in the park, people. You need to be in relatively good physical condition. There are stairs, steep climbs, and let's not forget the whole clinging to a cliff thing. It's so high up that sometimes you're above the clouds. If you're afraid of heights, this might not be the adventure for you. But if you're up for the challenge, if the thought of pushing your limits gets your adrenaline pumping, then the Huashan Plank Walk is calling your name. Huashan isn't just about the adrenaline rush. This mountain is steeped in history, shrouded in legends, and has been a sacred site for centuries. Legend has it that Mount Hua was formed from the primordial chaos that existed before the universe was born. See, even the mountain's origin story is epic. For centuries, Hua Shan has been a major center for Taoism, one of China's indigenous religions. Monks and hermits have been drawn to its mystical energy, building temples and monasteries among the peaks. Well, that was a rush. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share. That stuff really helps out the channel. We really need your help in building our community. We release polls, memes, and fun stuff at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab, a short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for Savvy Travel Gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated.